Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Nice beautiful evening. It's probably 75 degrees, just a little bit windy. And we're supposed to have a cold front come in tonight through tomorrow, tomorrow night. It's supposed to get down in the 30s again. But it's right now it's just beautiful out here. And a couple things I wanted to show everyone I hadn't talked about yet on my video. And, uh, and hopefully this video will come out all right. I don't, I can't tell. The wind's blowing. Sometimes it messes the sound up. So I apologize if it does do that. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is this underlayment that we're using this year. And the reason that we're using this underlayment is a couple of reasons. One is to keep the grass from growing under the hives, and it's going to be much more easier to control. And then I don't have to put down the even though we use the, the all-natural weed killer, it's still, you got to put it down and it's it's a lot of hives to keep up with. So this year we use this, it's just plain old tar paper that we're using under the hives. And it's going to keep that grass from growing up. And also what it'll do, it'll keep the hive beetles. Last year we had a hive beetle problem because we had so much rain. The high beetles were just absolutely terrible. So what happens when those high beetles come in, they're really not that much of a problem until they multiply, come back in hordes, and then take over your hive. And that's usually what happens. They'll come in maybe 10 or 20, 30, which is manageable by the bees. Next thing you know, you look in there and there's, they got the bees run over to one side and they're all in one frame and then they absconce and then they leave because they just can't handle the the invasion and there's not a whole lot they can do once their numbers get that great so what happens this hive beetles will come in they'll come in through your hive they'll lay eggs they hatch they come out the the little maggot looking pupae whatever you call the the larva and they bury in the ground and once they burrow in the ground and then they hatch, they come back an adult beetle and they come in by the hordes. So what this does, they fall directly down and they'll usually just dry up or burn up on the underlayment that you put under it. Now you can use rock. Some people use landscaping fiber that works really well. This right here, we decided to go with the tar paper because it's it was like $15.00. A row and a row will pretty much do probably almost two rows so it'll do a whole lot so and it's it does great it forms to the ground after it sits there a while it just kind of molds to the ground from the heat and the rain so it won't, it won't be a problem once it settles down to the ground as far as mowing around it um, that's one thing I was wanting to talk about the other thing was and I'd mentioned this in previous videos before is our little entrance reducers that we use. And all, you'll notice on all these, these have full ventilation. And the reason they do, we use these, these hardware claws with the little doors on them that we can open and close at will when we need them. And then what we did this year we got like one big door and then on the far side we have a little bitty door right here that we can open in situations like robin going on so what we can do is say like in in the fall when the, when you become into a dearth at the end of summer and in the fall you can actually if they're robin hive you can close this one off you can open this little bitty door right here the bees that live where live there will actually get used to it really quick and the robbers will get confused and, and it'll help them out so so right now we're not using that door we're using the bigger door and actually I can open this up too right here so and there's a screen all it is is just a piece of hardware cloth that's two inches wide by nine inches long and you can cut as many slits as you want into it come winter time well, people say, well, that's way too much ventilation. Well, you can't get enough ventilation in the summer for sure. So what you do in the wintertime towards the fall, you take your reducer, 
and you insert it from the inside and push it out against the screen and that's it it's simple as that come spring pull the screen back out from the inside because you're going to be down through your hive checking it and inspecting it all the time anyway so so that's no big deal and that way you're closed off for the winter time and then you got your full screen ventilation in the summer it works great but just want to throw those two little tips out there you need every little tool every little idea that you can get to to help you in beekeeping because it's not easy like it used to be i talked about that before how it used to be years ago a farmer would put his bees out once or twice a year he'd come by and he'd add a super or take a super off and extract the honey and it was simple as that that, that was before the hive beetles before the mites before wax moths were much of a problem of course we've always had moths but uh, they will that just added to the arsenal of pests that get into your hive so it's all about management now and it's all about learning so it's just a couple more hints that will help the new beekeeper get through and get started without having to lose her hive and get discouraged and get out of beekeeping so because we, we need all the beekeepers we can get so try to encourage beekeeping to everyone uh invite people over to your bee yard to somebody that's interested and and show them show them your yard or let them go through your hive with you and uh try to get people encouraged to get into this because we need all the beekeepers that we can get because the bees are in trouble and and we they need our help actually because living in the wild is just not a uh, something that they survive very long anymore it used to be years ago it was nothing to go out and find beehives in the trees but you could go all day long today out in the woods and never find a thing so that's a problem so please pass these videos along try to help the new beekeeper out anyone you know that's into beekeeping or interested in the beekeeping or pass videos on uh, text them share them on facebook and let's try to get the word out about beekeeping and uh, try to help everybody out. And that's about it for today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. Barnard Bees.